Blue Morda, The Chronicles of Dimensional Convergence, Chapter 1, The Enigmatic Zoo. It all started with whispers in the night, tales spun in the shadows of ancient civilizations, stories of a realm beyond our own, a dimension teeming with life, yet shrouded in mystery. This enigmatic realm, known as Blue Morda, was said to be home to creatures of unimaginable power and unfathomable origins. For centuries, Blue Morda remained concealed from human eyes, its existence relegated to the realm of myth and legend. But as the fabric of reality began to fray, the barriers between dimensions weakened, and Blue Morda seeped into our world like tendrils of darkness creeping into the light. It was amidst this backdrop of uncertainty and foreboding that the zoo emerged, a sprawling labyrinth of enclosures housing the denizens of Blue Morda. From the majestic to the monstrous, creatures beyond imagination roamed its twisted pathways, their otherworldly presence both captivating and terrifying. As I ventured into the heart of the zoo, I couldn't shake the feeling of being watched, as if unseen eyes followed my every move. Each step I took brought me closer to the truth, yet further into the depths of uncertainty. The air hummed with an electric energy, charged with the essence of Blue Morda itself. Chapter 2 The Key to Another World It was amidst the chaos of the zoo that I first laid eyes upon the shattered remnants of a key, a key said to hold the power to unlock the secrets of Blue Morda. Broken into twenty fragments scattered across the sprawling landscape, the key beckoned to be reunited, its significance echoing through the corridors of time. With each fragment I recovered, whispers of ancient prophecies echoed in my mind, guiding me towards my destiny. Yet, with every step forward, the shadows of Blue Morda loomed ever larger, threatening to engulf me in their darkness. As I pieced together the fragments of the key, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched, that unseen forces conspired against me. But driven by a relentless determination, I pressed on, driven by the hope that the key held the answers I sought. Chapter 3 The Keeper of Secrets At the heart of the zoo, amidst the encroaching darkness, I finally encountered the Keeper, a being of immense power and unfathomable knowledge. With eyes as old as time itself, the Keeper spoke of ancient pacts and forgotten truths, weaving a tapestry of revelation and deceit. It was then that I learned of Blue Morda's true purpose, that it was not merely a realm of monsters, but a prison for forces beyond comprehension. The creatures that roamed its twisted pathways were not merely beasts, but guardians of a dark secret buried deep within its depths. As the Keeper's words echoed in my mind, I realized the magnitude of my quest. To unlock the secrets of Blue Morda was to unleash a power that could reshape the very fabric of reality itself. And so, with a heavy heart and a trembling hand, I prepared to confront the darkness that lurked within. Chapter 4 The Final Confrontation With the key in hand, I descended into the depths of Blue Morda where darkness reigned supreme and shadows danced in the flickering light. And there, amidst the echoing halls of the underground chamber, I faced the ultimate challenge, a creature of pure malevolence, a harbinger of doom. As the creature loomed before me, its eyes ablaze with a primal fury, I knew that this was the moment of reckoning, that the fate of both worlds hung in the balance. With every fiber of my being, I fought against the darkness, wielding the power of the key like a beacon of hope amidst the encroaching gloom. And then, in a blinding flash of light, the creature was vanquished, its form dissipating into the ether like smoke in the wind. With its defeat, the darkness that had gripped Blue Mora began to recede, leaving behind a world forever changed. Epilogue. A new down as I emerged from the depths of Blue Morda, the sun rose on a world reborn, a world free from the shadows that had once threatened to consume it. And though the memory of my journey lingered like a ghost in the night, I knew that the darkness had been banished and that hope had triumphed over despair.
but even as I returned to the world above, I couldn't shake the feeling that Blue Morda lingered on the edge of perception, its secrets waiting to be discovered by those brave enough to seek them out. And so, as I looked out upon the horizon, I knew that my journey was far from over, that the adventure had only just begun.